is going on guys welcome back to another video today we are going to lower the Miata I ordered a set of what I would consider budget coilovers uh, I feel like these are perfect for entry level they come with a one-year warranty they have adjustable dampening they have adjustable spring compression and adjustable ride height which is obviously the most important part so let's hop into unboxing them so for the coilovers, I ordered the Hyper Re or, uh, Rev9 Hyper Street 2 or something like that. And like I was saying, I feel like they're a really good budget coilover, especially with the one year warranty. Because in my case, if they go bad in one year, I could always just upgrade to better ones and that wouldn't be bad. And if you guys are curious, I got this through a company called Redline 360. They actually offer a lot of Miata products. inside of a box. So, here are the new coilovers. I'm not going to lie, these feel really nice. I think they're really heavy duty. There you can see the adjustable dampening, adjustable spring compression, and adjustable uh, ride height. This is... I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a coil on sleeve rather than the height adjustment being the spring compression. I've also noticed that they're, I don't know, that should, it should be, okay. But I believe this is the rear. So now that we, I'm gonna get them all out, look them all over, and then let's get to putting them in. All right guys, so whenever you're installing coilovers and your intention is to lower the car, it's really important to measure how everything is with the stock suspension versus what you want it to be. That way, you can try to set the suspension before it goes into the car. Now, that may not always work out. You might have to adjust that a little bit because your car might just, it might have worn bushings or something and sit different on each side and you might have to level it out. But um, pretty much I'm gonna measure floor to fender, to the bottom of the fender right here, in top dead center, and then uh, when I pull the stock suspension, I'm going to measure that versus what the new suspension is currently at, and then try to set it to the correct difference. So if the stock suspension is three inches longer, I'm going to, uh, and I only want two inches lowering, um, I'm going to try to make it so the new suspension is only two inches shorter, um, or raise the new suspension to an inch. I mean, so we're going to do all that real quick, and then we're going to get this side pulled apart since it is the easiest. Currently at 24 and 3 quarters.
I'm alone, I'm a broken home I gave you all the bricks that I own and know I'm letting go, I'm breaking these walls down Breaking these walls down If you want adventure, then fly to home But if you want to travel, then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go I'm tired of the pain Go away I'm tired of the pain So real quick, before I change the camera battery out, I did get the rear done. Uh, I went from about four fingers to like three-ish, and it should settle down more than this. But uh, right now, the fender is sitting at, I believe, like 24 and a quarter on the driver, and 24 exact on, yeah, well, okay, closer to... 24 and a half on the driver's side and it's a little bit lower yeah lower than that on the passenger side but I'm not too worried about that because once I sit in the vehicle that side will weigh down more so I'm gonna wait until the suspension really settles in before I get concerned about adjusting it further than that because the coilover <coughs> the coilovers are set the exact same right now they're at the same ride height so that is just the car being off balance in those corners uh, so now I'm about to get started on the front but all you had to do in the rear to get it in was uh, disconnect the upper control arm and the sway bar end link so that you can get the leverage to drop it down and then it's better to start with a top hat so slide the top hat up in 
have someone hold it. If you can't, you can reach over the fender into the trunk and start a nut so that you can get up there to finish it. And then raise up the lower control arm, insert the bottom bolt, and then reattach the upper control arm and the sway bar. Um, so this is the, the grossness old suspension, which I won't be missing at all. So let's get this front started. Somehow I woke up out in Beverly, fucked up, smelling like that bourbon, and I end up alone, I'm not sharp, yeah, the girls and polite in the club every night, that's how it goes when you Hollywood perfect, Hollywood perfect. there you have it guys that's how you install the coilovers just real quick I didn't talk through what I did with the front suspension but you were able to see me working on it there uh, the front suspension is very similar you do have to remove the upper control arm and sway bar end links uh, remember when you move remove a sway bar end link you want both wheels off the ground because that sway bar is transferring uh, like tension between the two I guess you could say so if one wheel is on the ground it will be very difficult to mess with I've learned that the hard way like two or three times now because I keep forgetting but so make sure you have both uh, like passenger and driver side wheels front or back uh, off the ground when you're trying to remove those but the front is very similar there's just two top hat bolts which the front is super easy to get set up these are very accessible compared to the trunk ones uh, and then you remove the upper control arm uh, bolt don't remove the upper control arm entirely unless you're replacing it because that is not necessary just unbolt it from the subframe and then uh, remove the sway bar end link and that'll give you enough travel to push this down and uh, get the new suspension back in there and then bolt it back up also some other things that I did real quick I replaced the oil dipstick which had the broken handle on it which oddly enough that's a pretty common thing uh, and then just cleaned up the engine bay some more again after or while I was installing those so I wanted to wait to close this video out so that I could get some drive time on the coilovers get have any give some actual feedback some tips tricks anything about after they're installed what they feel like um, so I did not set any dampening on it whatsoever uh, right after I installed them I left them on full soft and after putting about 500 miles on it like that, uh, I realized on harsh dips that it kind of felt like it was bottoming out, like the travel was too quick. So I did 16 clicks from full soft on every single corner and the ride is perfect. It handles potholes very well. Um, it's not too stiff where it stops the car from really planting whatever tires when going through a corner, but there's also not too much body roll. And now that the suspension is fully settled, all my fenders are sitting at about 23. I'm blocking the light. They're all sitting about 23 and I cannot get two full fingers between the uh, fender and the tire, which I'm definitely happy with. Um, I do have a little bit of rubbing and I believe it's on the lip and fender tab, uh, fender liner tabs. So I will be rolling the fenders, uh, seeing if that solves it. If it doesn't, I'll probably cut the tabs off. But um, that's only at like really harsh dips, like pulling into my driveway and at like 15 or something, like a little quick and uh, kind of hitting that little drain pretty hard. That's the only time I rub. Uh, any normal spirited driving, it does not do that, which I'm very happy about. Uh, also, I think I misspoke when I was measuring the first time. I believe I started around 25 because when I first set the suspension, it was at a uh, 
Okay, this says 23 and about three quarters. But um, when I did the measurements and everything, I, the stock suspension, I believe, was 19 inches long. So I set my coilovers to 17 inches in length comparison to that. And it did give me about exactly a two inch drop. I believe it was the front driver side. I ended up having to like lower or raise back up a little to get it matched with the other side, but all of them are sitting level now. And uh, after the suspension settled, it actually has a minor rake, which is good because that means when you get on it, the uh, weight transfer to the back actually levels the car out instead of picking this end up too much, which is what would happen if they were the same exact height. <clears throat> But if this video was helpful to you, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The faster we get to a thousand subscribers, the more content I can create. Um, but like I said, if you guys have any questions, just drop them down below. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.